Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an MPPT charge controller. This MPPT charge controller has Wi-Fi server so we can monitor the parameters of charge controller on our smartphone. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is the block diagram of the project. Arduino is the processing unit of this project. Two current sensors are used, one for the input and other for the output. And two voltage sensors are also used for input and output. The buck converter is used to step down the input voltages to charge the battery. 16 by 2 LCD is used to display the parameters. Three push buttons are used to set the parameters. ESP1 Wi-Fi module is used to display the parameters on the smartphone. These parameters include panel voltages, panel current, panel power, battery voltages, battery current. Now let's see how I made this circuit. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First connect Arduino, after that connect a PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground. After that connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 1 of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin D9 of Arduino. After that connect a MOSFET and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its pin number 2 to ground. After that connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of the first MOSFET. After that connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of the second MOSFET. After that connect another MOSFET and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of the third MOSFET. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the optocoupler and its other pin to pin number 3 of the MOSFETs. After that, connect a current sensor and connect its one input terminal to pin number 3 of the MOSFETs and its 5V pin to 5V pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground and its out pin to pin A3 of Arduino. After that, connect a 2-pin terminal block and connect its 1-pin to remaining pin of current sensor and its other pin to positive terminal. 
After that, connect a 47k resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin number 4 of the optocoupler. After that, connect a 1000 microfarad 100 volts capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to negative terminal of input. After that, connect a 1000 microfarad 100 volt capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to negative terminal of input. After that, connect MBR20100 short key diode and connect its pin number 1 and 3 to pin number 2 of the MOSFETs and its pin number 2 to positive supply. After that, connect another MBR20100 short key diode and connect its pin number 1 and 3 to pin number 2 of the MOSFETs and its pin number 2 to positive supply. After that, connect a 100 micro Henry inductor and connect its one pin to pin number 4 of the MOSFETs and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a 1000 microfarad 100 volts capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, connect another 1000 microfarad 100 volt capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, connect a current sensor and connect its one input terminal to ground and connect its one input terminal and ground pin to ground, its 5 volt pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its output pin to pin A2 of Arduino. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to remaining pin of current sensor. After that, connect MC3406IC and connect its pin number 4 to ground and its pin number 1, 7 and 8 to output positive terminal. After that, connect a 1 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, connect a 1 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a 1N5819 diode and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of the IC and its anode to ground. After that, connect a 330 microhenry inductor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and connect its other pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 100 microfarad 50 volt capacitor and connect its positive pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its ground pin to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its other pin to pin 5 of the IC. After that, connect a 3.3K resistor and connect its one pin to pin 5 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, connect 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino and its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, connect a 5K trim port and connect its center pin to pin A0 of Arduino and its one side pin to ground. After that, connect a 47K resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of trim port and its other pin to positive terminal of output. After that, connect another 5K trim port and connect its center pin to pin A1 of Arduino and its one side pin to ground. After that, connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to positive terminal of the output. After that, connect a 47K resistor and connect its one side and connect its one side pin to remaining pin of 10K resistor and its other side pin to remaining pin of the trim port. After that, connect a 100K resistor and connect its one pin to negative terminal of the input and its other pin to center terminal of 10K and 47K resistor. After that, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin 10 of the Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin 11 of the Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D12 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect ESP1 module 
and connect its VCC and enable pin to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino and its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino, its TX pin to RX pin of Arduino and its RX pin to TX pin of Arduino. So we have completed the circuit. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. Connect your smartphone Wi-Fi to MPPT 4.1 Wi-Fi and enter the password which is 12345678. Now open the browser and type the IP address which is So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.